And as we come back in on this Tuesday morning, this year marks the 10 year anniversary of Hurricane Katrina devastating New Orleans. And a fearless group of folks are hoping to build 10 homes in 10 days during a build a thon. Grammy Award winning singer songwriter Cheryl Crow now joining us from New Orleans this morning. Cheryl, so glad to have you on this morning. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. So definitely a devastation that um, New Orleans is still picking up the pieces from 10 years ago. But you're working with a wonderful mm -hmm. organization and a project to kind of make things a little better out there. Yeah, I'm working with a project called Blue Jeans Go Green, and we are taking denim that you are not wearing anymore. And if you give us your pieces of denim, no matter if they're red denim, if they have zippers, grommets, we're going to strip the denim and we're going to make it into insulation that is environmentally friendly, and we're going to use that in our Habitat for Humanity homes. Um, for the next month, you can send in your denim. You can go to our website, which is bluejeansgogreen.org, and find out where to send them, or you can take them to a Madewell. And uh, we'll be building 10 homes in 10 days on America Street in New Orleans on the 10th anniversary, starting May 20th. Wow. So it's a, it's a great thing to be a part of because we all own denim and we all own jeans that we aren't using or aren't wearing anymore. So you can help us be a part of helping New Orleans. Yeah. So are you, are you going to donate your jacket you're wearing right now? It's pretty cute. Um, I, you know, it's funny. I, I saw the statistic. I know. Well, I'll tell you what. I would. I actually do use this one, but I am going to contribute a load of denim. I read this morning that the um, the average consumer has about seven pairs of jeans, and I would argue that they have more because I know a lot of women that have the jeans that are like the skinny jeans, mm -hmm. and then the jeans when we put on a few pounds, and so the ones um, you lay we've down managed and you're, to rescue you're sucking 600 in. Yeah, let me just tell you, as I've gotten older, some of those really low sling, sling denim, that's going to be insulation this year in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's, it, it's an exciting project, which got started in 2006, and we've collected over a million pieces of denim to make insulation so far. So wow. we're just encouraging everyone to help our neighbors in New Orleans after 10 years. Okay, Cheryl, we're just about out of time here. If you can really uh, tell me really quickly, why are you involved in this project? Why is it so close to you? I love anything recycling. I love the idea of uh, pushing humanity forward with things that we are not using anymore. And, uh, you know, we're, we're all neighbors here. We, we live in this amazing country, um, and we've all suffered hardship. And we're watching New Orleans still build back after 10 years of devastation. So it's just a great thing to be a part of. It's easy to do. Go to bluejeansgogreen.org uh, and find out how you can be a part of helping our neighbors down in New Orleans uh, build fantastic homes and uh, be a part of, of building back um, with Habitat for Humanity. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Cheryl Crow, for being with us, for taking time out of your day. Uh, good luck with your project there. And again, you can donate your blue jeans. Go green here for uh, this Habitat for Humanity project. Thanks, Cheryl, for being with us.